being attacked by plants. Hello and welcome back to Handmade Originals. This is Handmade Originals back at the water butt. <laughs> Hello, and we're back at the water butt for what I think will be the third and final time. In the first video, I showed you how to make an irrigation system using a bit of an old hose, some pegs made from um, wire coat hangers, and attach that to the water butt. In the, in the second video, I showed you how to automate that system with this clever little gizmo. And in this video, I'm going to just quickly explain how I managed to eradicate the drip. Um, so this hose lock connector was actually being pulled open by the weight of the timer unit underneath. Um, so I, I used a couple of broken paving slabs here to wedge the hose upwards. Um, and I also positioned the hose on the paving slabs so that all of this is in a straight line. Because if you have it at any angle at all, uh, like sort of that, it, it goes out of alignment and then you get a gap and then you get a leak. That, so that's all there is to tell you about this video. I'm afraid it's not hugely scientific or clever or anything. It's just, you know, line it up and lift the weight and that's about it. However, I would just give you a couple of quick tips uh, before you go on holiday and rely on this system. Um, the first is make sure that your butt if you're sniggering in the back, stop that this minute. <laughs> Act your age, not your shoe size. Make sure your butt is full of water. <laughs> um, and, and that will maximise the water pressure because obviously this is just a gravity fed system. Um, secondly, your batteries are in here. I use rechargeable batteries because I'm trying to save the planet single handedly. So if I was going away for two weeks, I would take those out before I go, recharge them, and then pop them back in. And then reset, make sure you've uh, set your uh, automatic watering so that it's watering either first thing in the morning or late in the afternoon, early evening. Um, with this particular one where you don't set the time, the time runs from um, when you actually turn it on. So if I, it's now half past six, so if I turned it on now and set it for 72 hours, it would come on in 72 hours at half past six. So it's very simple and that's how it works. And that, I think that's the easiest way to um, have something like this. So finally, wherever you go, I hope you have a fantastic trip. Relax and just enjoy being away from home. Yay! Two extra things. I want to tell you, uh, the next time I come back into the garden, it will not be to visit the water butt, it will be because, let me just show you, whoa, I have a bit of a gap here um, and this is very dry and very dark so I am reluctant to try and force something to grow in there. So I'm going to, I'm going to try and create a sculpture. I'm going to have a go um, and that will be the subject of my next video in the garden. And there's something else I want to show you but I haven't got it with me so I will have to quickly nip upstairs. And this is the other thing I wanted to show you, important news, exciting news. I've written a book, it's now published on Amazon. Um, it is also now uh, just recently published as an ebook. So if you don't want to get yourself a paper book, you can also download it um, and it's much more reasonable in price. Um, and it's all about uh, my journey from an amateur sewer making costumes for my kids to making costumes for entire casts at my children's school and then going on to turn professional and work for an opera company and a theatre company all sorts of exciting things anyway it is absolutely full of pictures showing you how i did it various costumes how i made them but also kind of my journey from amateur to professional i guess um and at the end of each chapter so there are 10 chapters and one chapter per production. At the end of each chapter, I just reflect uh, briefly on what I did and how I did it. And if I were to do it again, how I would do it differently, which I think is always quite productive because um, we all learn all the time. Um, and I think it's hopefully quite funny as well. Anyway, um, do have a look, hope you enjoy it if you, if you read it. Um, and I will see you next time when I have a go at making a sculpture for the garden. <laughs> See you then.